Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'll tell you what. You know what's going on? Uh, a thing that it happens. Every single time. Have you ever noticed this? When you start an effort to lose weight, whether it be some new diet plan or exercise or well, yeah, well obviously it's really it's going to be a combination of all that kind of stuff and whatever. Anytime you start a new diet plan, a new effort to lose weight, what happens? I'll tell you what happens. Everything under the sun looks like food. Yeah. And if that ain't bad enough, all of a sudden you notice you're, you feel hungrier than you normally do. It doesn't matter how much you eat, you still feel hungrier. How do I know that? Because it's happened to me many times, including yesterday. <laughs> oh boy. I haven't been on the scale this morning because I've been busy recording Skyrim. And, uh, you know what? Just a moment. Okay, I, you see, I, I almost lazy out. I've been busy all night doing one thing or another, and I just finished recording an episode of Skyrim, which I haven't edited yet, so it'll be up in a few hours. And I just about almost, I came about that close to just letting that be an excuse to lazy out and not get up and walk over there and stand on the scale for a minute. As it turns out, I'm glad that I did. Now, fully realizing that this is probably the work of random fluctuations and probably contributed to by my daily dose of Lasix, but my weight just a couple of minutes ago is 301.0. This is an improvement. This is a four pound loss since yesterday. Now, I know that's not got to do with anything to do with weight loss. No, that's the random fluctuation and the Lasix. Lasix, for those who don't know, is a diuretic. It is the medication, the medication gift that keeps on giving. It gives you a new hobby. Where you spend your time standing around in the throne room. Yes, wonderful medication. But it does what it's supposed to do. And that's probably a big chunk of where the four pounds went. Anyway, onward to the story of yesterday. The calories for yesterday. Are you ready for this? 2,540. And I was going to say, and I was going to try to go for 1,200 calories a day. And by the way, some folks, a couple of three folks said in the comments something about 1,200 not necessarily being necessary or that my 1,500 number was not necessarily correct. And uh, upon reflection and reviewing some stuff that I've had bookmarked and written in text files for a long time, uh, you're right. Absolutely. Totally right. And I will go into calorie numbers and such tomorrow. Uh, what happened yesterday? See, I had these uh, cheeseburgers that I got from my local grocery store a while back. And See, ever so once in a while, ever so occasionally, they have a sale on these things, these Fast Bites uh, cheeseburgers. 99 cents for a cheeseburger. And in this day and age, you can't hardly beat that with a stick. And to boot, on top of that, they ain't half bad. And so I had a few of them in my free in my refrigerator. And yesterday, something happened that I have not had happen in quite a while. I became hungry. And you think, and I'm sure some people are saying, oh, well, hey. Don't you get hungry every day and eat? 
Oh, well, no. I mean, I eat every day, but I don't necessarily get hungry every day. I, I haven't gotten hungry, as in feeling that almost painful, empty, gnawing feeling in your stomach that says, hey, are you going to ever feed me again? You know, that. And it is some, it, in, in its severe stages, it can, lead, it can e even be accompanied by weakness or even a little bit of dizziness and so on. I didn't have the dizziness, but I did have the weakness and uh, even a little bit of shaky. And it was like, wow, I haven't been hungry like this in six, eight months, a year, so I don't even know. It's very rare these days that I actually feel genuine hunger. And so I had something to eat. I had a couple of those burgers. And then I had my coffee and uh, I had uh, I had a two ounce bowl of uh, these cheese puff things and so on and later I had another burger or two and so on. I added it all up a little while ago and I was surprised at that number. But what I didn't realize when I was having those rather tasty little burgers, and they are little burgers, they're not double cheeseburgers, it's one patty of meat, one slice of American cheese, and a bun. 380 calories each. Yeah. That was a big chunk of it right there. The two ounce, two ounce bowl of cheese puffs, let's see, that was like... Uh, that was 350 and so on there's a couple of other things but all I've got is a list of numbers I'm not itemizing everything I'm just putting down the numbers and adding them up but the whole point is it got away from me I didn't realize how much I had been doing until I went and said hey you know I gotta, I gotta look these numbers up and write them down and then add them up yeah, that was priceless. So, hunger can come up out of the blue when you're not expecting it and nail you to the wall. <laughs> Especially when it's the day after you said you're starting this effort to lose weight. However, I'm going to get a handle on this and I'm going to beat this thing. And, you see, this is the whole thing the establishing new habits, getting yourself into a habit of eating in such a way and living in such a way that you get your weight down off of the 300s or the high 200s or whatever and get down into something reasonable. My goal is to get down somewhere below 200. I would love to weigh in at 175 again. I haven't done that since I was in my mid-twenties. And that was a long time ago. But I'm going to get there. And I don't think we're going to see another one of these 2,500 things. Because I think I'm going to start adding them up and totaling them as I go through the day. It's a bit of a pain in the butt but it's not too awfully horrible big of a deal. And I think I've probably been talking entirely too much. In fact, I've got a Skyrim episode that I need to edit, render, and get on its way to YouTube. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.